We are about to enter the year 2021 and Bitcoin looks strong as hell. This current bull market is actually taking place faster than the 2017 bull market. Some analysts are actually suggesting that the Bitcoin cycles are getting faster and faster, not longer and longer as some analysts have been theorizing. Also, the total crypto market cap is on the verge of breaking into a new all-time high, showing us that this cycle has not even started yet. All of this and more in today's video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a lot to discuss. Bitcoin is currently down 1.5% in the past 24 hours and most of the top cryptocurrencies are following Bitcoin to the downside. We do see some altcoins getting some play today, which is nice to see. In looking at Bitcoin on the weekly chart, things could not be better. We are entering the year 2021 in a very powerful way. Bitcoin hit prices around 28387 here on Coinbase just the other day. And many of you guys and many analysts and including myself have discussed the 21 week EMA, this blue line here. A lot of people are looking at the blue 21 week EMA. And we know that it's acted as a very accurate support indicator in previous bull markets. And so far, since the global pandemic, we have held above this for support. This potential bull market support level, the 21 week EMA, is now sitting just around 17K. In just a few weeks, the 21 week EMA could be sitting at the all time high. And this means that even if we did get a pullback, the all time high would very likely act as an extremely strong support level. So as time goes on, the support levels are just increasing to higher and higher levels and confidence in Bitcoin is also increasing to higher and higher levels. Many of my viewers probably know who Raul Paul is. He is a former Goldman Sachs executive and a well-respected macro analyst. And he has recently gone quote unquote irresponsibly long on Bitcoin. And one of the things that he said about this current bull cycle, he said, I think it's gigantically different. Firstly, look at the acceleration of this post having versus the previous one. It's faster, which is something that none of us expected. We were all expecting the slope to be less. So far, not true. So that's interesting to me. And basically, this is what I mentioned in the beginning of this video is that this current bull cycle is actually kicking off much faster than the last one. A lot of analysts that you guys may listen to have been, you know, pushing this narrative that the cycles are going to extend and there's a lengthening cycle theory that's floating around out there. And this lengthening cycle theory is not really grounded on any facts. It's just a theory, right? If you take a look at the 2013 bull market peak to the post having all time high break, it took about 1,238 days or so. And now if you look at the 2017 bull market peak to post having all time high break, it only took less than 1100 days. And we can see that this theory is not really holding that much weight right now. And why is it that Bitcoin cycles are actually speeding up here this time around? Well, first of all, we just had the global pandemic and governments have been bailing out their countries and fiat currencies have been printed at a record pace this year. 30% of all US dollars were printed this year and the M1 money stock is rapidly increasing. So we have a lot of money floating around here and the US dollar index is showing that the US dollar value is performing terribly against most other global currencies. And also we know that interest rates are being locked at a low level and this means that people don't want to hold US dollar. They're losing value if they're holding US dollar. And all of this is actually speeding up the cycle for Bitcoin. This is creating tons of demand for Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin price, the orange line here. Guys, all of this is speeding up up the cycle. This current bull market could end up being much more powerful than we expect. And it's quite possible that if the billionaires continue to buy Bitcoin, that this cycle may have fewer pullbacks in between, right? We may have fewer pullbacks and less significant pullbacks than previous cycles as all of these things continue to play into the demand that's rising for Bitcoin here. We can see that even this current pullback on the four hour really doesn't seem all too significant. And in my opinion, unless you're day trading or swing trading, you should not really care what's going to happen to Bitcoin and you should not try to time short term moves. You should be looking at this chart. You should be keeping track of each weekly candle, not every four hour candle, right? Keep your eye on the long term. Bitcoin is poised for at least another thousand percent to the upside, in my opinion, hitting a price target of potentially 250,000. And if Ethereum keeps its lead on Bitcoin, Ethereum is up 471% in the past year, Bitcoin is up 283% in the past year. 
If Ethereum keeps this lead on Bitcoin, Ethereum would be sitting around $10,000 in my opinion if Bitcoin does hit 250,000. ETH could be sitting at 10,000 US dollars. Now, Ethereum has also been performing extremely well. We just came up to that 750 resistance that we discussed in all of my recent live streams. We are finding some resistance at this historic price level because that we did see a lot of resistance support and resistance here in 2017 going into 2018. And this is really Ethereum's next major hurdle is popping up above 750, maybe finding resistance at that 830 area, the top of the resistance box looking to turn 750 into support. And in my opinion, if we get above 830, that would very likely send us into new all-time highs for Ethereum. At that point, there's not much resistance here left to stop us. And just like Bitcoin, the 21-week EMA has acted as a pretty good support area for Ethereum. If we do ever come back, you know, during a pullback and test that level, that is a good area of entry, in my opinion, right now, which could be around 600. So remember, the 21-week EMA for Bitcoin and Ethereum are good buy targets in the event of a pullback. And also, quick mention here, Chainlink has been trading very sideways recently and it hasn't seen all too much of a bounce. Some of the altcoins saw more of a bounce than Chainlink. I think it's very likely that there is a lot of FUD surrounding Chainlink right now and other coins because of the XRP SEC lawsuit. I think there is some uncertainty right now about some of the other top altcoins. I think the market is a little bit spooked here about, you know, what is the SEC gonna do? Who are they coming after next? And is it possible that the SEC comes after Chainlink? Of course it is, it is totally possible. I did a quick analysis here on this. I said, is Chainlink vulnerable to SEC action? Let's discuss. EOS and XRP both raised billions of dollars on their token sales. Chainlink, 32 million. Pretty small fish. The Chainlink white paper also at least attempts to address securities laws, saying that Chainlink tokens are not securities, investments, or currencies, and are not sold or marketed as such. So they will at least be able to defend themselves with that having been disclosed in the white paper. So even if Chainlink does get hit by a lawsuit, you know, the price will likely dump and they would probably pay a fine of maybe a couple million at most, right? They didn't really raise all too much compared to the billions that XRP and EOS raised. So I'm not that concerned. If it does actually happen, if the SEC does actually come after Chainlink, yes, the price would likely dump and it would not be fun to hold Chainlink at that point in time. Right now, there is no news for that. And right now, I don't think there will be. And there's no evidence to suggest that there will be. I think that Chainlink will be fine. It's all just speculation. I don't think that the SEC is going to be going after Chainlink. Very small fish, only 32 million raised as compared to, you know, XRP billions of dollars raised. It's a totally different beast. XRP is way more centralized and easier to target than something like Chainlink. Chainlink is very decentralized in comparison to XRP, so I'm really not all too worried. I'm still holding Chainlink now and I'm still very confident in its performance in the next bull market. Currently, Chainlink has performed better this year than Ethereum and Bitcoin, but we will see. Bitcoin is still looking pretty good. Bitcoin may actually be looking for a continued breakout here. Before you go, definitely smash up that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want access to the CryptoWatch platform, which is my preferred platform for charting and trading, it's free to sign up with this platform. There's a tutorial popping up on the screen. It's totally free, guys. You got nothing to lose. Sign up with CryptoWatch, and I'll see you all in the next video.